Welcome to the introduction to electrostatics. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the electric charge. Electric charge, like mass, is a property of matter. Just like mass, charge also is based on the properties of fundamental subatomic particles. Atoms are small particles of matter about one ten billionth of a meter in size. And at their center is the atomic nucleus made up of protons and neutrons. The nucleus is orbited by a cloud of negatively charged particles called electrons. The basic unit of mass is kilograms. And most of the mass of an atom resides in its nucleus. The basic unit of charge is the coulomb. Protons and electrons carry the same amount but opposite charges. On average, there is an equal number of protons and electrons in an atom, making the whole system neutral. Neutrons, while part of the nucleus, don't have a net charge. Charges can be separated, but they cannot be destroyed. If I were to rub a glass rod repeatedly, with a silk cloth, due to the greater electron affinity of the molecules that make up silk, is going to attract some of the electrons away from the glass. This will give the glass a net positive charge and the silk a net negative charge, but again, the total charge of the system is conserved. Charges produce the electrostatic force around them according to Coulomb's law. Similar to gravitational force for masses, Coulomb's law for charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges involved and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This similar to gravity, however, the direction of the force will depend on the sign of the charges. Opposite charges attract and similar charges repel.
the simulator from phet.colorado.edu can give you some practice with the separation and conservation of charge. You may need to turn on Flash Player. In this simulation, we have a plastic balloon and a fur sweater. When you rub the balloon against the sweater, it picks up some of its electrons. When you release the balloon, the electrons are still attracted to the positive charge on the sleeve of the sweater, and hence the balloon will be attracted to it. Adding a second balloon, initially it starts off neutral. But if we make it too pick up some electrons, now we have two balloons both with net negative charge and they will repel. A laboratory tool you will use to view the electrostatic force through its effects is known as an electroscope. The core of the electroscope consists of conducting material initially neutral that can have charges flow to or from it through the bob at the top. At the center it is connected to a loose rod that too is electrically conductive. If we bring the previously positively charged glass rod near the bob, then even without touching it, it is going to start attracting the electrons from the apparatus. Because now the core and the loose rod are both positively charged, they will start repelling each other, resulting in the deflection. There are many other experiments to try out with an electroscope. But those you will need to try out for yourself in lab.